Welcome back to another NCAA video in which we'll be covering week 4 matchup between Clemson Tigers and the FSU Seminoles and this should be a fun ACC matchup with playoff and championship implications and FSU is now 3-0 and and Clemson comes in 2-1 and with the loss to Duke and so this shall be a defining ACC conference matchup but there are so many ACC teams this year which are really solid including the Miami Hurricanes and Duke and UNC so this shall be a fun ACC year to check out and we are here at Clemson Memorial Stadium also known as Death Valley so let's see who get the ball first and it looks like it will be Clemson Tigers who elect to receive the kick so let's go check it out and see how each team does It is now third and nine for the Clemson Tigers and Vizina is gonna get it and it's gonna be a little short And it's gonna be fourth and three forcing a three and out as FSU will get the ball to start off their drive and the Seminoles are now forced on a third and 11 and Travis has time in the pocket and gets it out to number 14 Wilson who breaks a couple tackles and makes it a 45 yard reception great job by Johnny Wilson right there and it is a first and 10 for the Seminoles in Clemson territory and the pressure almost got there but Jordan Travis is able to slip it through to his receiver for the big gain and on second and 14 we got Jordan Travis sitting in at the pocket getting it to Johnny Wilson one more time for a 19 yard reception which makes it a first and goal for the Seminoles at the half yard line and what a drive put up by Johnny Wilson and Jordan Travis that connection is going to be pretty lethal throughout this game. And on first and 10 we got Jordan Travis with a quarterback draw who gets it into the end zone as he hurdles his way into the end zone and puts up Florida State 7-0 up over the Clemson Tigers with 2.15 in the first quarter. The Clemson offense is stopped once again and Jordan Travis is quickly making his way down the field and on third and four they complete it to Ontario Wilson and makes it a first and 10 at the 11 yard line for the Seminoles offense. The Seminoles offense is eating up the clock as much as possible. They try and convert on third and two, but cannot get it through. And the Clemson defense gets a stop, forcing a fourth and two at the four, which the Florida Seminoles have to settle for a field goal attempt. And their kicker will get it right through the middle of the goal post, making it a 10-0 lead with 10 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win the ACC this year. And on second and 10, Jordan Travis finds an open Johnny Wilson for a 20 yard reception and a first and 10. What a great job by Johnny Wilson to get open from the defender right there. Made the defender go a little past him and makes it a huge gain for the Seminoles offense right there. Clemson fans, what did you guys think after the Duke game? Do you guys think Debo's getting in his way? Not using the transfer portal and NIL as much? I understand that, but I know that's not making the team any better. And on second and down, the Florida State offense is able to get the first down. Jordan Travis is having a great day today, having 8 completions out of 10 attempts, throwing 80% in the field today. And the Florida State Seminoles offense is taking their time on each drive and making sure that they do not give any time or as little as possible for the Clemson offense to try and respond back. And on third and six, the Florida State offense is able to convert. And at the end of the third quarter, the score is 10 nothing in favor of Florida State. And on first and goal, we got Jordan Travis giving it off to his running back Trey Benson for a 7 yard touchdown run and with 458 remaining in the fourth quarter the Florida State Seminoles are up 17 to nothing and this is not a great response for the Clemson Tigers at their own home. Clemson Tigers are now faced at a third and eight and he is sacked and he fumbles the ball and it is recovered by number 74 of the Clemson offense but that pushes them back, forcing a 4th and 19 for the Clemson Tigers offense. 
and that is an inopportune time for that to happen for them. It is now a 4th and 2 situation for the Florida State offense, and Benson does not get it. Zero yard rush and a turnover on downs, and so the Clemson Tigers will get the ball around the 40 yard line, which is one of the best field positions they've had all day. So let's see if they can capitalize right here and try and make it a two possession game. And on first and 10 for the Clemson offense, the quarterback has a lot of time in the pocket and he gets it over to his receiver, number 22 Turner, who breaks the tackle and gets it into the end zone. That was a 69 yard touchdown reception by Cole Turner right there. What a great job by the Clemson offense to respond real quick. But is it too little too late with 117 remaining in the game? But that is what we like to have seen from the Clemson offense all game. And it's interesting that this game has Klubnik as the backup quarterback. As in real life, he is the starter. But what do you guys think about Cade Klubnik's season so far? Do you guys think he is a talented quarterback that can make it to the next level and make Clemson a competitive formidable offense and as the Clemson Tigers try and do an onside recovery the Florida State Seminoles retain possession of the ball and Clemson still has three timeout so if their defense can get a stop three and out then they have a lifeline in the game but with one first down from the Florida State offense it is game over and on first down the Florida State offense get a nine yard run making it second and one which isn't the most ideal as they only need one yard to end the game so let's see what the clemson offense will dial up and what the florida state seminoles will do and there is a negative three yard rush by trey benson there great job by the clemson defense forcing a third and three for the seminoles offense let's see what they can do here on third down and if they can get a stop or if Florida State will convert on third down and pull the game to a victory. So they go down the middle for a run one more time, and Trey Benson just has enough, a four-yard rush when they needed three yards and gets the first down, and Clemson is now out of timeouts, and Florida State will now go in victory formation and seal the game. And with that final quarterback, Neil, with the clock run out, the final score is Florida State 17 versus Clemson 7. A 10-point victory for the Seminoles. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. Shall be a fun year to watch the ACC and who comes out of it and if any of the teams will make the CFP. Should be a fun one to watch. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe, and we'll be covering college football all season long. I appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.